International Space Station. As a reminder, we moved directly through Waypoint 1, which put us directly in front of the docking port. You can see it right here. That's the Node 2 forward port where Dragon docked during Demo 1 and Demo 2. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. The ground is go for approach two. At this point, please confirm that the lighting conditions are acceptable to proceed and let us know if you are go for approach two and docking. Okay, SpaceX, uh, this is Dragon on the big loop. Uh, so the lighting is actually getting worse. We do have a view of the IDA, but we do not have a view of the docking target. And Dragon, SpaceX, we copy, we are six minutes from sunset. Would you like to hold for those six minutes or do you feel comfortable proceeding? And SpaceX from Dragon, uh, we'll go ahead and hold for those six minutes if we can. We copy hold. Crew Dragon crew has opted to hold at Waypoint 2 for the time being so they can get some better views of the, uh, the docking port the docking target on that APAS hatch we were discussing that's on the International Space Station. So they can hold here and that will give them the opportunity for sunset to uh, come over both the International Space Station and Crew Dragon. There won't be any odd shadows and they should have better visibility. Of course, the crew themselves are not making this maneuver in toward the International Space Station. It is autonomous. Crew Dragon will be doing it by itself, but we want the crew to be able to see the docking target so that they can properly monitor uh, as the vehicle continues to make its approach to Node 2. And the ground is go for docking, but we are just waiting for us to get a little bit more light so that Dragon can actually see where it is going to autonomously dock, uh, see the target on uh, Node 2 as it approaches so it can make that soft capture accurately. We're in another one of those satellite handovers we just discussed as well. We should get video communications. Oh, right there. Coming back and uh, as we mentioned, Dragon is holding at waypoint two. That's 20 meters away from the International Space Station. They are holding until we reach sunset, an orbital nighttime for the spacecraft. Once that happens, they will uh, proceed in toward node two. It should take about five minutes. And as a reminder, Waypoint 2 is about 20 meters away from station. We are on the docking access, and Dragon will be aligning itself with that docking port. We're just holding for some sunlight. This hold continuing for another few minutes. Uh, the space station has crossed the Terminator line, the difference in day and nighttime on Earth. They are east of Hawaii right now in the Pacific Ocean, and they are waiting for the sun to set on orbit. Crew Dragon will be able to use its infrared camera to spot that docking target on the APAS hatch on node two, and then they'll be able to proceed leaving Waypoint 2, making their five-minute journey approximately to docking. And I should correct what I mentioned earlier. Uh, they're waiting for the sun to go down so that they don't have any shadows, so that 
dragon can uh, actually see clearly and locate, uh, align itself with that docking port. As a reminder, we had a confirmation that the soft capture ring extended. That'll be the first part of capture. The soft capture ring. There are also rotary spring dampers that will soften the contact once Dragon's soft capture ring comes in contact with the International Space Station. And then the ring will retract until sensors indicate it'll be time for hooks to drive. We're looking for 12 hooks, two different gangs of six to firmly secure Dragon to the International Space Station. That entire process, from contact to hard capture, can take about 13 minutes. We'll be standing by the entire time to make sure all of that goes smoothly, but everything looking good right now for Crew Dragon, still holding about 20 meters away from the International Space Station. And it looks like we might be about a minute away from sunset. So we should be hearing that call that they're ready to proceed. Again, there's no rush. And there's also no need for the crew to fly Dragon. This is all happening autonomously. Just a few more seconds until sunset. And you can see it did get quite a bit darker. And that flash on the Node 2 docking port coming from Crew Dragon. We do like the crew to be able to see this docking, even though it's autonomous. That helps them monitor where they're at and take control if need be. However, all of Dragon systems looking good. And we're just standing by for that departure from waypoint two, 20 meters away from the International Space Station. We are currently go on the ground for docking, but we are waiting for the crew to confirm if they are ready. We are waiting for the crew to confirm. Uh, from Dragon on the big loop. Uh, looks to us like uh, we've gone through sunset and we have, we'll get the lights strobing. We can see the target. And so we are going to proceed by zero down. Copy, you are go to proceed and visors are down. That's great to hear. We will be commanding the resume shortly. And as a reminder, once Dragon is inside, the crew hands off point, retreat and breakout are not permitted. And copies on. Station copies all, I'm ready. We've got confirmation that we have go from the crew. So they will be starting this procedure shortly. We'll start approaching that docking adapter that you see on your screen. Once we get close enough, we will do a soft capture, followed by the insertion of the pins for the hard capture. We also heard the core mentioned uh, once that we reach the crew hands off point that's the chop call we'll hear retreat and breakout are not permitted and that would be from the crew the vehicle can still abort if necessary but as we said everything continuing to look good for crew dragon ready to depart waypoint two and the final approach has begun crew dragon moving in toward 
the International Docking Adapter on Node 2. Kate Rubin standing by on the International Space Station monitoring their approach. And this should only take approximately five minutes. So not too long. Their arrival at the International Space Station today will be coming about 27 and a half hours since their liftoff last night at 7.27 p.m. Eastern Time from Kennedy Space Center in Florida aboard a Falcon 9 rocket. We are now about 15 meters away, just about three minutes from docking. Very slow, deliberate, steady movements for Crew Dragon making its way to the International Space Station. We'll be looking for soft capture first with the soft capture ring already extended. Once we have soft capture, the ring will retract and bring us into a hard capture. That should take about 13 minutes for that entire process, firmly securing us to the International Space Station. And then we'll move into leak checks. And SpaceX from Dragon on the big loop, we show 10 meters. We've got good lighting, good visuals. Great to hear. We see 10 meters as well. Even though it looks very slow right now, both Dragon and the International Space Station are traveling about 17,500 miles an hour over Earth right now, both about 262 statute miles over the planet. just a few moments ago too that the crew had reached 10 meters away from the International Space Station so already halfway there from waypoint two. We're only about a little over a minute from docking. You can see on those display panels the crew watching as they approach that node Port two. And what you could see directly in the center of the docking adapter, that is the A pass hatch. Um, once we do do a hard capture um, and do leak checks, that will be the first hatch that will open, followed by the dragon hatch. And if you look closely in the center at the Tomatoes very bottom, chop. there was chop, crew hands off point. Standing by for contact. Dragon SpaceX, soft capture confirmed. Dragon copies, and we see the same. As you heard that call out, soft capture is now complete. Next will be hard capture. This is where the pins will insert themselves into that docking adapter and create a hard lock. And we had that soft capture at 8.01 p.m. Pacific time, 11.01 p.m. Eastern time. Crew Dragon and the International Space Station flying 262 statute miles over Idaho. Dragon SpaceX, soft capture ring retraction in progress.
That call confirming just what we're looking to hear. The soft capture ring is retracting. We're looking for sensors to indicate it'll be time for hooks to drive, create that firm hold on Crew Dragon. So this can take several minutes, maybe about 10 to 13 minutes. Uh, but slow and steady wins the race. Crew Dragon is now at the International Space Station. This view over the shoulder of our commander and our pilot, Mike Hopkins and Victor Glover. They are watching this all unfold via these three displays. Got some folks here watching as we confirm that soft capture there. Everybody's pretty excited. I'm getting really excited. I can't <laughs> wait. They're almost done. This is the home stretch. So once again, we had contact soft capture confirmed at the International Space Station for Crew Dragon at 8.01 p.m. Pacific Time, 11.01 p.m. Eastern Time. Both vehicles were flying 262 statute miles over Idaho. We're now in the soft capture ring retract period. We'll be looking for uh, that ring to retract fully. The sensors will indicate that we are ready to firmly connect with the International Space Station. That's called the hard capture. Um, and that means it'll be time after that to begin league checks, suit doffing or taking off their suits for the crew, eventually hatch opening. So all those steps might take a couple of hours, um, but we will be here for their first, I can't say steps inside the space station, for their first <laughs> floats inside the space station. 